Uh, it's kind of, uh, I know they're going to end up in the Adirondacks. They have to get there uh, before the summer rush. Because when the summer comes, everybody's going to come to this house. They're trying to get there before everybody else. But I want it to be kind of a squeeze from a timing standpoint. So I'm like, oh, yeah, so it's got to be June sometime. It'll be the second half of June. They'll show up with kind of a week to spare before the summer people start to arrive. And they're going to do what they have to do in, this, in the house, which I won't tell you about in case you haven't read it. But anyway. This is the plan. So I'm writing the book all in. I got the 10 days and, you know, and I guess moving forward and it's June, you know, mid to late June. And, and I'm well into the book. I don't know. Maybe I'm three quarters of the way through the book and of writing it. And suddenly I'm like, oh, you know, wait, that's so weird. This book takes place in 1954 in June. And the John Moscow ends in June 1954. And so with a little bit of shoving, what ended up happening is that – the culminating event of a gentleman in Moscow, the entire book, uh, occurs at midnight on the 21st of June, 1954. And all the telephones ring in the Metropole Hotel, and there's this culminating event. Um, well, Lincoln Highway. The culminating event of the Lincoln Highway, uh, Billy and Emmett in a car, uh, beginning to, getting ready to drive off. This occurs at 5 p.m. On the 21st of June, 1954. Now, given the time change between Russia and uh, uh, America, um, it's seven hours. So these two events occur at the exact same moment in historical time. Now, you don't have to notice that. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, I just think it's kind of hilarious uh, in a way. But, but in a, in a, one of the reasons I really love it as a concept, that these two stories, which are totally different in wh where they take place, how long they are, who they're about, what they're about, yet conclude at the exact same moment in, in historical time. You know, and I think that's so – what I love about that is because that's the way life is, right? Right now, there are a million stories beginning and a million coming to conclusion as we have this call. You know, maybe it's one of yours. And so, uh, so that's just the nature of it. And, and the, all those stories that are beginning and ending at the same time are totally different. 